going to show you how to prepare Chinese steamed fish. It's a very, very good recipe, really simple and it can be really light as well. I personally put a bit of oil in it, but you really don't need to, which means that uh, it's a recipe that would end up having no fat at all, which is great. <laughs> it's just so yummy and you can achieve this traditional Chinese taste just with a few ingredients, you don't have to buy much. For the fish, you can basically use any white fish that you have. I have used colon filet before, I have also used sea bread. Both were delicious, so feel free to try whatever fish you like. I also included a bento tutorial in this video, so I hope you will like it. I hope you will try it out and don't forget to tell me if you do. Bye! You'll need soy sauce, ginger, chives or green onions, garlic, and of course, your fish! <laughs> Can you see? I drew a koi carp on my nail. Do you like it? I'll be showing you pictures of the same recipe. These pictures were taken when I learned cooking this dish for the first time. It's a bit different from what I did, and it was better. You can see that my mom used green onions. I couldn't find any, so I used chives instead. <laughs> I made a mistake and I used all the garlic. You actually don't have to use that much. That was pretty garlicky. <laughs> but I love my ginger, so if I could put more, I definitely would. I think you're starting to understand that this recipe is all about finding the proportions that you like and that suit you. I'm trying to make my fish stand as flat as I can so that it will cook everywhere. Now let's add the soy sauce. Mmm, yummy. And finally, let's just add some green. Chives or green onion, whatever you choose. Now the cooking part. You just have to steam your fish for 15 minutes. Don't forget to put the lid. When the fish is almost cooked, I start heating some oil. And when the fish is done, I add the oil to the fish. It makes a beautiful sound and gives a lot of flavor. And the fish is ready! Ready to eat! Your whole kitchen should smell really really good at this point. Let's make a bento together, shall we? First, I will be adding some tamagoyaki. And then cherry tomatoes. Now noodles for the fish, you can also use rice. And finally, the fish. You can pour a teeny tiny bit of sauce, add a slice of lemon because it's pretty and it tastes good, and you have finished your quick and easy bento. Since I'm a girl and I like cute things, I'm going to add a few pics <laughs> on my tamagoyaki, but that's totally optional. We are now ready to take our bento for school or for work. Bon appétit!